Hi guys, I'm Hua, Flower. Today, I'm going to do a book review on the book 13 Reasons Why by J. Archer. Actually, when I started reading it halfway through, I was so bored. I hate the main character, but when I ended up finish it, I really like it. So, this is going to be really fascinating. This book is about a girl. Her name is Hannah, Hannah Baker. She is just another normal high school student. The only fact that's what we think of her. She is in a state of confusion after people failed her in one or the other ways. She is dying from inside but still hopes every day that things will be better tomorrow. Until it's too much to handle. She couldn't take it anymore and commits suicide by overdosing on pills. But before she dies, she recalls 13 tips with each one dedicated to a person who made her life miserable. She mentions what led her to the decision to end everything. I hate Hannah because she made such a drastic decision like she thinks that she cannot change anything. And instead of making changes, she just wants everything to stop by her dying. The 13 reasons why is too evident of the incidents that happen around us every day. We never try to find out the problem of a person until they are gone too far. This book describes the state of our society. We forget one thing that defies humanity. Communication has reduced to significant, and we don't even care to ask. We are only concerned for ourselves. We don't evaluate our action as to how it will affect others. Bullying is one major cause that mentioned in the book. It's very common in high school. Competition, jealousy, and superiority complex makes people blind to what human feelings and emotions. The author describes each reason with obvious details as to how you might bully to someone around you. I like the idea of this book and I think everyone should know how it feels to be bullied. At the age I mean teens, we don't feel like communicating with our parents and they too remain clueless of the fact about their kids' condition. Teachers and authority at school either doesn't want to obsess those students are bullied right under their nose or they are too busy to help a dying student. The second protagonist of the story after Hannah Baker is Clay Jensen. He is among the 13 people who get the tapes. And he set out to make his own trusted, as set by him. You may find him helping the tooth come out. He get framed and the bully try to break him or even beats him. But he never stops for the sake of his departed friend. Clay Jensen was amongst Hannah's friends. And you know, life gets easier when you have a friend. Sometimes people recover from anxiety and stress situation only if you reach them out at the right moment. But which wasn't the case here. J. Archer is amazing in writing and bringing the bitter side of our society. He expresses flawlessly what could have been a harsh task for anyone else. 
You should read the book so that you realize life isn't the cake walk for all. Just like you are facing challenges of your own, so is the next person. But you can do one thing, reach out, take a moment, say hi, how are you? The next person might be feeling like a connection, but your approach may help her be one. You never know what your smallest and simplest gratitude might do to a human. So, be kind and spread love. Well, this brings me to end my book review. One more time, I want to emphasize that I highly recommend reading this book. If you hate it halfway through, just like either, don't stop there, finish reading it because I promise it will pay off the end. Thank you for your watching. Thank you.